Hello and welcome to SourceCAD. In this video, I'll tell you everything about making blocks in BricsCAD right from scratch. And for this, I'll use this simple drawing which contains no block as of now. So all of these drawings which you see here are not blocks, they're simple objects and we'll try to convert them into simple blocks using different methods. So let's get started. So let's first begin with a very easy method of making blocks and using that method we can make blocks without going through the block window and without selecting lots of options that we generally don't need. Now to do that I'm going to use one of the door symbols which we already have here. So I'll try to convert this door symbol into a block. So for that we need to first make a selection. So let's just make a selection, a window selection like this. And in this selection, we did include objects that we don't need to include. For example, we include this line. So I'm going to press and hold my shift key and I'll click on this to deselect it from our selection set. And here it is. Now everything for the door is selected here. Let's go to this part. Okay. And everything for the door is selected here too. And we have our selection. Well, now we need to make a copy. For this, you can use control C, the very simple copy tool. So press control C on your keyboard or you can also click on this copy icon right here. So in this case, I'll just click here and we now have copy of this object on our clipboard. Now I'll press escape key and will now paste this same object as a block. To do that, you need to just press control shift V on your keyboard and you'll have this object as a block. Obviously we did not specify the name so it will be made with a random name which we can change later. But now we have a block. So if I hover my cursor you can clearly see that now this object is a block. So this one is a fairly easy and quick way of converting simple objects into block in BricsCAD. Now moving on let's see how we can make blocks using the traditional method and for that I'm going to use one of the toilet blocks that we have here. So we'll use this one, this symbol. Now to make the block, we need to go to this create block option on the blocks panel of home tab. So I'll go to create block and now we have the block definition window. So we need to start with the names. So let's give it a name and a description if you want. And now we need to specify the base point. So I'm going to click on this pick point option and I'll select this midpoint as the base point. And now we need to select the object. So I'll click on select entities and I'll make a window selection to include only these objects for our block. Also, I'll include these objects. So once again, I'll just carefully include these into the selection set and this line too. So it's now included and I'll press enter. So 118 entities selected. Now you can select from retain, convert to block or delete and you'll still end up with the block. It's just that these radio buttons will control the type of object which you'll get here. If you select retain, this won't be converted to a block, but you'll still have a block and it will be added to the block library. If you select convert to block, this object will be converted to a block and a copy of this will be added to the block library. If you select delete, well, this object, the on-screen object will be deleted, but a copy will be added to the library. So in all the three cases, you will end up with a block in the block library. So in this case, I'll just select convert to block so that this one is also converted to a block. And with the rest of the settings unchanged, I'll click on OK. And we have a block here. So once again, if I have my cursor, you can see that this one is now a block. So that's the second and the traditional method of creating blocks. So now let's talk about another way of making blocks with the repeated set of objects, which is exclusive to BricsCAD. Now that option is Blockify. It's here on the block panel. So in this case, we have four of these objects, which are fairly identical. And if you want to convert all of these objects into a block, you can do it using Blockify. For that, I'll go to Blockify. And now we need to select just one object from this complete list. So we've got four objects. We just need to make 
selection from one of these. So I'm going to make a window like this. And this object is now selected. Now press enter and BricsCAD will prompt you to specify the area from where you want to find out similar copies. In this case, we want to include entire drawing. So I'll simply press enter again. And now here, four objects were found. So if you want to now specify the insertion point for four of these objects, you can specify it using your selection. So this was our selection. I want to specify this point as the insertion. So I'll just click here and we have four blocks. This one is a block and this one is also a block, although we did not select it as a block. Still, since they were identical copies, we'll end up with these blocks. So that's really a quick way. And since in this case also, we did not specify any kind of name for this block, it will be added with a random name, which we can change. So let's now talk about changing the name and other properties of blocks. To do that, you can go to the block option of Drawing Explorer just by clicking this tool here. And this will take you to the Drawing Explorer window with the block option selected. So we have four of these blocks. Arch tick is a default block which was available before we actually made any kind of blocks. So we'll just ignore this arch tick. Now these are the three blocks which we made ourselves. So this is the first one which was the unnamed block. We made it using control C copy and then control shift V option. A random name has been assigned here. If you want to change it, just double click and give it a name. So I'm going to now give it a name. I'll just call it door and enter. Now the second one, well, obviously in this case also a random name has been chosen for this one. So I'll just double click here and I'll rename this. And finally, this is the block which we actually made. We also added the name, base point and every other detail. So that's obviously here it's added and we don't need to make any kind of changes here. And once you're done with these changes, you can close the drawing explorer and we have all the blocks that we need here. Now, if you want to insert any of these blocks, you can go to insert block option. And from this list, you can locate the block that you want to insert, click on okay, and you can insert your block like this. You can also make copies from the existing block. And when you do that, BricsCAD will make another copy of original block reference. So we still have the same door block here. To modify any of these blocks, you need to just go to edit block option right here and select the block that you want to modify. Alternatively, if you also double click on these blocks, you'll end up here with the edit block definition window and then you can select the block that you want to modify. Click on OK. Then make modifications that you want. For example, I'm going to add a single line right here that connects these two midpoints. And once you're satisfied with the change, click on save icon right here on the block edit panel and all the block references will be modified. So we now have this new line here at the center and this one is not a block. So we are not seeing any kind of change here, but this one is a block. So here it is. So that's how you can make blocks using three different ways in BricsCAD and you can also easily modify these blocks using edit block window. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any question, let me know in the comments below and don't forget to share this video. I'll see you soon with another video.